on the last one. 15 laps, thunder stop. Real fast. One more feature left to go here. Once again, we'll really, really want to thank the good folks at Victims Assisted Center of Jefferson County. Glad to have them on board with us here tonight. One more feature left to go, and that's the Sundance Leisure Thunder Cars for 15 laps. So we'll be So the 22 of uh, Jared Gelson is supposed to be starting up on the pole, which he will. O.J. White will join him on that front row. Row number two is going to find the 111 of Anthony St. Mary Jr. Along with the 16 of Steve Smith. Row number three, 60 of Francis White, current point leader alongside of the three of David Rasmussen. Pat Sullivan in the red, number 111 with Robert Flint in the 52. Taylor Dockstader in the 100, along with the 13 of Remington Ham. And Ray and Damian Beckler back there in the last row. Lyle Robinson not able to uh, make his way back out onto the speedway for the night. So uh, that uh, ride off into the uh, other, other lot, basically, in the heat race, kind of uh, sideline him for the evening. So hopefully we'll see him back next week. White flag will be displayed. 15 laps is the distance, and we will go green next trip by. Do a combined victory lane for our Donath Motor, or excuse me, our Panther Frameworks Crate Sprint Cars and the Sundance Leisure Thunder Cars as well. Been a great night of racing here so far, and looking to keep it going for one more feature here at KM. Don't forget, next week it is Ladies' Night here at the KM Speedway, a powder puff. Fabco Dirt Car Pro Stocks are off next week, but the rest of the field will be here, including the Sundance Leisure Thunder Cars. Race time begins at 7 o'clock. Ready to go. Jared Gilson on the pole. 94 of O.J. White alongside. 15 laps is the distance. Leclerc says, let's get it going. We're underway. And Jared Gilson, O.J. White, one and two. They're side by side for the lead. Watch for Rasmussen and Steve Smith. They're quick out there in the 16 and the number three. As behind them, Remington Ham in the 60 of Francis White. They're all boxed up together. Six or seven cars. You can throw a blanket over them as they come down the front straightaway. We got one of the Beckler cars around in turn number four. It looks like that's Ray Beckler in the 26R as Taylor Dockstader is taking the 100 to pit road. Yellow lights are on. Remington Ham gets twisted around as well in the 13. Around over in turn number one and two.
So driver change on the 13, it is not Remington Ham out there, it is Justin Pope aboard the number 13. Green lights back on, one lap is complete, we're back underway. Number one is on the board, coming around to complete lap number two. Steve Smith in control of the field as it bring it down across the line. Jared Gilson there for second. O.J. White into third. David Rasmussen trying to run around the high side on Francis White up into turn number three and four. And O.J. White problems in the 94. Got a little out of shape, slowed right down. Allowed Francis White to get alongside of him down the back straight away. Meanwhile, up off of turn number four, back down to the line. We got a battle for the number one spot shaping up. Battle for the lead, and Steve Smith has it. Jerry Gilson wants to take it away, though. Working lap number three of this 15-lap contest. Francis White there for third, and the 94 of O.J. White holding on to fourth. Justin Pope, who has a win here this year in his own car. Got this ride from the Remington Ham Stable up into fifth. David Rasmussen up against the wall over there in turn number three and four yellow lights are back on at lap number four never 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 So four laps are complete. Steve Smith, Jared Gilson, Francis White, O.J. White, Justin Pope, your top five are back to green. And problems with O.J. White, the 94, he did not get going on the start, and that car is barely moving going down into turn one here. We'll keep our eye on him, though, as they work down the back stretch. Steve Smith. Still in control here as they work. Lap number four. Yellow lights are on as OJ White not able to keep going over there. Yellow lights are back on.
My quick yellow did not bother Steve Smith whatsoever. Takes the lead away, and here comes Francis White once again. Down the back straightaway. Tries to draw even with Steve Smith into turn number three. Jared Gilson running there in third. And here comes Justin Pope in that 13 ride. Going after the 22 of Gilson for the three spot. As they drag race down the line, Francis Wright, the new leader at lap number five. And yellow lights back on once again. 52, Robert Flint goes around in turn number four. Know that, John. Here we got ten more laps. Never, never, never. Huh? Our back tires both are gone. Huh? Green and black ones there. They're both gone. Yeah, they both. The engine part. They said the reason why they wanted that to stay in the back is. Looking for green this time by five down, ten more to go. Final feature of the night here with Sunday and Leisure Thunder Cars. Good folks at Victims Assisted Center of Jefferson County on hand tonight. Glad to have them on board. Back under green. And these cautions have played right into the hands of Justin Pope right now as he's been able to pick them off one at a time. He's now up into third and has got a strong race car that he might be able to chase down Francis White and Steve Smith and grab the lead here. But right now they're two by two for the top spot. Francis White on the bottom as Steve Smith rolls the outside lane and the 13 of Pope right there with him in third. Bringing it down to the line this time by lap number six goes on the leaderboard. And Francis White continues to show the way. He has been fast all season, no matter where he goes. When he's not running here on Friday nights, whenever we have a night off, he goes to Mohawk, and he's stolen three races over there, and we have got a tire off of the number three of David Rasmussen. It has rolled well off of corner number two and down the embankment over there. Rasmussen is pulled away under his own power, and we'll have to head back to Pitt Road to get another tire on that car. So he is headed to Pitt Road. So those of you who are uh, heading out of the Speedway tonight, we certainly do appreciate you joining us. Once again, it is ladies' night next Friday night here at the KDM Speedway. Powder Puff will take place. Somebody's excited for ladies' night. Gates open at 5 o'clock next week. Race time is always 7 p.m. right here at the KM Speedway. Five divisions in total will be here. The Fabco Dirt Car Pro Stocks will not be with us next Friday night. The Whitesboro Plow Shop Dirt Car 358 Modifieds will be here. The Bob Johnson Auto Group Dirt Car Sportsman. Panther Framework 602 Crate Sprints. Donneth Motorworks Limited Sportsman. And the Sundance Leisure Thunder Cars will be here as well. So David Rasmussen gets back out on the racetrack. New right front tire for him, and we are ready to go. 
Six laps down, nine more to go. Francis White looking to hold on for win number three in 2023. 16 of Steve Smith looking for win number one of the year. Justin Pope looking to make it two wins and two tries. Off the corner, we're back to green. And we've seen this before on a Francis White. Did not get a good restart, but he's able to pull back by the 13 of Justin Pope. And we are going to call that one back. Yellow lights are back on. I'll see you down there. Yep. Now again, remember uh, next week, Thursday night, the uh, Dirt Northeast Modified Hall of Fame induction ceremonies will be taking place. Tim Fuller and Danny O'Brien will take their rightful place in the Northeast Hall of Fame. Legends here at k and and legends in Northeast Modified Racing, along with Bob Cameron, some of the many people that will be inducted next Thursday. I'll be there, along with several other people inducting uh, their respective uh, drivers and uh, media people and mechanics and everything else. Free event to the public. Come on out and join us. It's going to be a very special night. Green lights are back on. Francis White gets a better restart. Steve Smith right there with him. And here comes Justin Pope as well on the 13 into turn number one and two. Down the back straight away. White able to get back by Steve Smith for the lead. 13 of Pope there for third. Jared Gilson having a strong run in fourth, and David Rasmussen has now moved back up into the number five spot. Anthony St. Mary Jr. sixth, Robert Flint seventh, eighth is Pat Sullivan in the 111 as they work in lap number seven. Seven down, Francis White looking to extend that point lead and looking for win number three of the season, but Steve Smith's going to make it tough on him down the back straight away. Justin Pope. Jared Gilson, they're all within striking distance right now as they make their way through turn number three and four. Back down to the line, Francis White swings it wide off the turn, which is the line he loves around this Canium Speedway right now. Eight down, seven to go, Francis White in control. Looking for his third win of the year. Steve Smith would love to get win number one. Justin Pope looking to keep the perfect record going. He won here. Back on May the 12th, his only start of the season. And would like to add to his win total. But he's got Steve Smith and Francis White to deal with as they make their way into turns one and two with six laps left to go. Justin Pope trying to find the way by Smith as Francis White continues to extend that lead. Mike LeClaire's got five fingers in the air. He's not waving goodbye to everybody. He's showing Francis White. He's got five more trips around Can-Am. In the meantime, here comes Justin Pope looking for a second. As they make their way into turn number one and two, Pope down low, Steve Smith up high, down through turn number two, and Justin Pope takes away the two spot. As he heads down the back straightaway, he's got four and a half laps to catch Francis White. The next time is to try to get by him. We'll see what happens through turn number three and four. White again, way wide, coming off the corner. Opens the door for Justin Pope to close in. We got four to go. Going to come down to these two drivers right here as Francis White continues to show the way. We got caution on the racetrack. And again, David Rasmussen in the number three. And that is the third caution that he has brought out. So David Rasmussen has been told to uh, take it straight to the trailer and put it on there and bring it back next week.
So we're back to green off of turn number four. Can Francis White hold on for another win? We're going to find out. Doesn't get as good a restart, and here comes Justin Pope around the high side. Pope to the lead. Into turn number one and two, Francis White looking to try to find the way back by now. Steve Smith, Jared Gilson at each other for third and fourth. Robert Flint has now cracked the top five for the first time tonight. As they head up into turn number three and four, and here comes White one more time down in that inside lane. Justin Pope working on the high side. Francis White back to the bottom. New race leader is Francis White at lap 12. As they make their way down the back straightaway once again, White and Pope, they're going to go at it for the lead. Side-by-side -side battle. This is going to allow Steve Smith to close the gap. Jared Gilson right there with these two drivers as well. Off of corner number four, side-by-side -side battle with two laps left to go. It was Pope by about a bumper for the lead in turn number one, but here comes White back to the bottom. Down off of corner number two, White tries to get up in front of him. Not quite there as Justin Pope takes the lead back down the back straight away into turn three. Justin Pope gives him the lane down on the inside portion of the racetrack. Here comes Francis White from the bottom. Justin Pope on the high side. White flag in the air this time. Bye for Justin Pope. Good strong run by the top two drivers. White back down to the inside lane. Here comes Justin Pope again to the high side. It's a seesaw battle. Drag race down the back stretch into turn number three and four. Francis White looking for win number three of the season. Up off of turn number four. White throws the slider. Up off the corner. Down across the line. Who's it going to be? Calling at the line. Going to go to timing and scoring on that one.